I just wanted to do a short video for the people who are getting eggs and caterpillars from me. I um, want to start off by showing you guys how you can move eggs and the newly hatched caterpillars around without harming them. Right here is a container of the eggs that I do have. Um, some of them have hatched already. Some are still going to hatch. Um, don't know if you can see him. He's kind of curled up right now for me messing with him. But that is a newly hatched caterpillar. And I wanted to show you the best way to maneuver him without hurting him. Um, I apologize for the video. It's taken on my digital so it's kind of blurry and it will be muffled at times. As I'm having a hard time holding the camera and showing you guys this. Um, so here is the best way that I um, like to do this. I take a Q-tip and cut the end off at kind of like an angle and the other one I just pull the cotton off the end. Now it's probably going to be hard to see and my voice is going to sound a little muffled so I apologize. But what I do is I take the end of the Q-tip and I gently rub underneath the caterpillar. Oh, he fell down. What they usually do is they have silk attached to them and they usually will grab on. I don't know if you guys can see him, but he is right there on the end of the Q-tip. Right there. The best way to put them on a new leaf, which right here I have, these are some caterpillars that have just also hatched. Is you just want to gently rub him very gently on the leaf and there you go it's right there now if you're really uncomfortable about moving caterpillars or eggs this way the best thing that I can suggest for you to do is to take scissors and cut around them that way you know you know you don't have to pick them up and you can put them on the fresh leaf without picking them up literally when they get bigger it's not so much a problem I mean you can just pick them up okay as you can see he did make it to the leaf it's my video cut me short there um, the same goes um, if you need to change the leaf which I do for the cat for these little caterpillars I change their leaf about I don't know every two days just you know when it starts to feel kind of papery kind of dry you can do the same thing to pick them up. If you're really uncomfortable about picking up eggs or if you're uncomfortable about picking up the little caterpillars, then what I suggest is maybe taking some scissors and cutting around them on the small piece of leaf that they are on and placing them on a bigger leaf, a fresh leaf, um, so that they can, you know, get to fresh food. Like I said, with these guys, you really don't have to change their leaf every day. Like, I think I've had this one in here for going on two to three days. Um, and the best way that I keep leaves... Hold on, let me set this down again. Honestly, is to refrigerate them. Although, I keep tropical milkweed... I honestly like the common milkweed better only because the leaves are a lot bigger mix you know plenty more food for them to eat um, I've yet to grow common milkweed I plan to start um, a nice size garden of that next year that way it'll make it easier for me to access food for them but this is something that I will send with you guys anyway um, all the leaves have already been washed all you have to do is keep them in a Ziploc bag and refrigerate them. Just use them as you need them. Um, for caterpillars as small as the babies, you really don't need a huge leaf. Um, say you've only got you know one or two little caterpillars, all you have to do is pull off a section of the leaf and put in there for them. And like I said, use the Q-tip to put them on there or cut around them with scissors. Um, to put them on their new leaf the only thing you have to be really careful about is they are so tiny 
so so tiny that you got to make sure you look the leaf over a good few times before discarding it you don't want to accidentally throw away any caterpillars the other day I did a big no-no I washed my leaves and I put them in the refrigerator opened them later and I had a baby caterpillar still on a leaf I don't know how but he was still alive and eating <laughs> so um that that is honestly the best way I can tell you to take care of these little ones. The same goes for the bigger that they get. You can hold on here. Do the same thing. I can get the slit open. Just to kind of show you a size comparison, um, I have right now I have five different containers set up. I have one for eggs. I have the ones that are, you know, newly hatched. I just showed you a second ago. The ones in this container, well, they're about, I don't know, maybe five days old and they get a little bit bigger. You really don't want to crowd too many in one container and you really don't want to put big caterpillars with like newly hatched because they could get trampled and possibly eaten because these guys are pigs so it's really hard to say. And then over here you have the really really big guys these guys are the ones that are really easy to take care of you just gotta make sure you have a good food supply um... they eat like crazy and as you can see they poop like crazy um... you can pick them up by hand they don't bite they are kinda wiggly it's funny they, they don't like being touched by the other caterpillars i've actually seen them kinda spat it's kinda funny but anyways um this is probably about how big they will be before they start to chrysalis so and I will show you a few of the chrysalis also tilt this up here here are a few of the chrysalis that I have some that are getting ready to chrysalis um, and I will also make a video showing you how you can maneuver chrysalis around because you really do not want them emerging this close together if more than one emerges on the same day they bump each other they both fall to the ground and they dry wrong and if you're a big softy like me you are stuck hand feeding the butterfly until it passes away which trust me is not fun I do not have any butterflies right now because once they do emerge I do release them um, I give them about a few hours to dry uh, and then I pick them up by hand and I'll usually take them outside and they usually they usually are trying to fly away before I can even Sorry, hold on one second phone I apologize um, They usually Try to fly away before you can even manage to get them outside But once you do get them outside they usually will go ahead and take flight or you can kind of kind of give them a little toss up in the air and they usually go ahead and take off and most commonly mine what they do is they fly and they find a tree to to perch in until they feel more comfortable with flying so just wanted to show you guys um, I don't know question wise you know what what you guys might think of to ask but if you do definitely let me know I just wanted to show you guys a quick video of how I take care of my caterpillars usually instead of having them in a KK I do use a five and a half gallon the best thing you want them to merge out you really want a screen top so that's one thing that's kind of important to me